So listen, I don't know where I want to go with this YouTube channel. So what I'm doing right now is a little bit of self-discovery is kind of figuring out what I want to make this channel about, what I'm passionate about, what I enjoy doing, but also something that I want to commit to that I want to share with you guys. So we're going to kind of go on this journey together. I'm just going to take you guys with me and we're starting it off by decluttering, by getting rid of things that are causing me stress. I've actually been decluttering my house. I've been working towards more of a minimalism kind of thing. Not like full bore, like I own five pieces of clothing, but like just less things, less clutter, less stuff, less junk, less things to stress me out. This is one of those things that's stressing me out. So I thought that while I am figuring out what I'm doing with this YouTube channel, I would just take you guys with me and we'll just do all of these things together. I have a couple of other Calyx units I want to remodel. I want to remodel my bathroom. Maybe I'll take you on that. I signed up for book of the month. And I got my first book and I absolutely fell in love with it. So maybe I'll talk to you guys. Like, I literally have absolutely no idea. So bear with me as we go on this little journey together. But for this video and for today, we're getting rid of planner supplies. Actually, we're going to get rid of this entire unit. My mom is going to take it. So we have to get everything off of it and go through all of the things on here. We have discs and decor pieces and cute little hats. There's my gorgeous Bible that I love so much. And I have journals and these faux apothecary little drawers that I made. We've got stickers galore. <laughs> a ton of stickers. A really cute Ray Dunn caffeine mug that actually smells like coffee. I've never burned it, but it smells delicious. Planner covers. And there's just other things. I don't even know what all is in here. So I do have a tote. I have one tote. If there, there are certain things that are on this that I do want to keep. And as long as it fits in this tote, I can keep it. For example, my uh, Bible study stuff, I def definitely want to keep that. I actually have this cart right here. I don't know if I can. Ooh. Okay, so let me see the cart. It's kind of heavy. Um, I'm thinking about setting that cart back up to a Bible study cart, which is what it was, and then putting it beside my bed. Not out here inside of the she shed because I'm not doing my Bible studies out here. So um, thinking about reorganizing that. But I do have some other things, things that are I need to keep that are on this shelf. So it has to fit in this tote. If it doesn't fit in this tote, it's got to go. This rug is terrible. I got it off of one of those auction websites and um, it was not as described. And I didn't know that if it's considered a brand new thing that you could like not, you could choose to check it out at the auctions place and then choose not to get it. I did not know that. So I took it with me for sure. Wouldn't have taken it with me if I'd have known that. Okay. First thing I'm going to do is sweep up the stink bugs. I think I want to go through I think I'm going to go through the planners first. I do have this right here, this little section down here at the bottom. This is where my old planners are that I used. I have some in here of like my first planner that I ever started to decorate. I have one from nursing school, a couple from nursing school actually, that I really want to keep. So I'm going to go through those first. You know what this is actually kind of reminding me of is how long I've been working on this channel, making plans for this channel and never fully executing them because I've always called myself a hopper and I've always hopped from thing to thing to thing. And this is actually making me realize that I really need to get my shit together. I had quite a few moments of reminiscing while I was going through all of my old planners, the old spreads and layouts and the cute little inserts that I made. I also found a couple of old memory keepers, um, like little journals actually. So I used to document 
in a planner what happened throughout the day and then I could use that in my memory keeper. Um, I now do that on my phone. But anyways, I was going through all of this and it was bittersweet. Part of me is attached to these things. Part of me did not want to get rid of them. But there's a bigger part of me that is tired of things in my life that cause me stress and this is one of those things. So they had to go. It's time. It's time to move on. Um, it's time to let things go. It's time to let somebody else enjoy the stickers and things. I mean, don't don't get me wrong. I definitely kept plenty of sticker books. You guys will see that here in just a little bit because I can use those sticker books. They're kind of basic ones, so I can use them like in memory keeping and scrapbooking. Um, or if I want to put like a couple of icon stickers in my planner, I can do that. So I did keep some, but some of them I kept too are also sentimental, like Squad Girls. Do you guys remember like our Squad Goals? The like OG happy planner stickers like I don't have I didn't keep all of them but I kept a few that were very sentimental to me but at the end of this this entire calyx unit is actually empty and completely gone out of the shed this was one of my first ones that I had no this one this one right here my first mini 2019 that's not right Maybe it is my first mini. I say I started planning in like 2017 or something, like decorative planning. We've all always been planning, right? Got to keep those. This one, one of these I used as a memory keeper for a while. This one right here. I literally wrote little things that were happening each day inside of this planner. Oh, Saturday the 19th. Uh, January the 19th in 2019, my mom and dad bought my son his dirt bike. <laughs> Levi's birthday. Okay, definitely got to keep that one, obviously. Let's set our discs up here for now. So look, all that time and we have one cubby done. That's not motivating at all. <laughs> it's funny, I'm still talking to you guys. <laughs> Even though I decided to mute this and speed this up because um, this took me a hot minute to get all of this done and I didn't realize how long it had taken me and so I had all of this footage and it was just way too long. So that's why we had to, you know, you're gonna see my talking head quite a bit but it's just gonna be voiceover, Ashley. So most of these planners, except for that first little cubby that I already went through, those ones were my completed planners, planners that, you know, I kept because they were pretty and I had a lot of memories in them. These other planners, a lot of them are blank memory keepers that I never did use or brand new planners that I never did use. So some of those will go to my niece. Some of them I might sell, I might donate. I'm not 100% still for sure. They're not here anymore. Everything's at my mom's, but um, me and my mom kind of started a little pile at her house and kind of deciding what we're doing with everything. But um, yeah. A lot of those were memory keepers. This next file that I'm going through right now, this little cubby, these, a lot of these were notebooks. I kind of did some DIY happy planner notebooks where I took all of my notebook paper and I put it into the planners. Oh, so excited. Do you see that cute spread? I know we're a mile away from that. You can't even see it, but it was, take my word, it was like really cute. If you're needing like a easy solution for storing tons of planner supplies these bins from ikea are amazing absolutely love these i've had these for years they're a really good sturdy hard plastic so i just kind of want to throw that out throw that out there i do love these little bins this little section is where i kept a lot of planner packs and different inserts and note paper not all of my note paper but like the really good note paper that i liked more than the other note paper it stayed here kind of for quick access so Getting rid of a lot of those things. I had planner covers in there, Christmas stuff, the, um, oh gosh, what were those called? Planning guides. I had those inside of there and look, now it's empty. And now we're gonna go through this one. Now this little bin, I ended up keeping the, and it's windy by the way, and it's a gorgeous day in Ohio. The weather's like 75 degrees, so I have my windows open, so I apologize if you can hear the wind. But that little bin, it has basic planning stuff in it, like icon stickers. I have some pin loops in there, just little things like that. So I didn't even go through it because I know I wanna keep everything inside of that bin. This other bigger bin that I'm going through now has like extra planner covers that I kept and some dividers, 
actually it had, I think I put all of my dividers inside of there. It had some extra planer paper, like the notebook paper and stuff inside of there. So got all of that cleaned out. I had some of the, the faith paper, which goes onto my faith cart. Ooh, we spun that around fast, didn't we? That kind of made me sick, so I'm sure it made you sick, but now we have our second bin completely empty. Here's where I'm at so far. So I know it's hard to tell, but there's actually two piles here. This pile goes all to my niece. This pile I will go through, take out like some of the divider pages because I can use like punches and stamps and stuff on them and use them in my scrapbooks. So I'll kind of go through that. The rest of that is um, trash. That's my keeping tote as I talked about, but this is where we're at. My keeping tote is almost full, you guys, and I don't even, I haven't even got to the stickers yet, which makes me a little bit nervous, but oh, let's just, let's keep trucking. All right, here comes the super hard part, and that is to go through all of the stickers. Um, it, was, it was hard. A lot of these stickers, I look through them and I'm like, man, so many good memories wrapped up in these, but again, causing me stress needs to go, and I just kept reminding myself of that. So um, you'll see me, I'm just going through them. I'm creating a couple of different piles. The pile that is to my right, which if you're just looking at the screen, it's on the left side. Those are sticker books that I'm no longer keeping. And then the pile that's technically on my left, but if you're looking at the screen, it's on my right, or it's on your right. Okay, the smaller pile, that might be <laughs> an easier way to put this. I'm keeping the smaller pile, getting rid of the sticker books that are in the larger pile. And for the stickers that I kept, like I said, sentimental ones, ones that I love, ones that are simple and basic that I can use in memory keeping, or if I just want some icon stickers, and some of the OG Happy Planner stickers. This little thing does have like badge clips in them, badge reels, a dumb award I got at work. Um, you do something good and you get a pen for it as a nurse, right? Or pizza and it's nasty pizza. Um, this one has the extra handles that I used. And I think this one has some more, yeah, badge clips. But other than that, the rest of these are all empty. These are empty. So I still have these couple of things that I want to keep, but I'll actually just go ahead and we'll stick those over here with the rest of this stuff. And then I can organize all of that. Sorry if I'm moving super fast. I forget that it makes you sick whenever you're watching it on camera. You guys, so it actually feels so much better than what I thought it was going to. We're getting in the home stretch, guys, slowly but surely. We are in the final steps of this little clean out. So now I'm just getting the rest of the things off of the Calyx unit. Most of the buckets and bins and um, baskets are all empty. So just taking all of those off, stacking those up to the side, absolutely not getting rid of those. Because I'll tell you, anytime you have an empty organization box of sorts, keep it. Because later on, you might not need it right now, but later on you're gonna to need to shop your home and you're gonna need it. And you're gonna be like, oh, I'm so glad I kept this. So just my little tidbit for the day. Absolutely keeping all my little decor stuff up here, especially my beautiful mermaid that I got from a friend. Absolutely love that mermaid. Thanks you, thank you, Mara, if you're watching this. But just storing all of that stuff on these other two units, those two units for right now are just strictly storage. So I'm just sticking everything, like the little decor pieces over there for now moving this stuff out of the way just a bit. And then from there, we're gonna go through the sticker books that I put on my desk. We're gonna go through some discs, which took a long time <laughs> to go through all the discs um, and just kind of get some of this stuff put away where I want it to go.
Going through these discs was quite possibly the worst part of this entire process. Not for emotional reasons, I have no emotional attachment to these discs, however, it's just, it was a process. <laughs> it's definitely a process. But what I did is I went through everything. The discs that, I are, that I'm keeping are in the jar. The ones in the bigger jar that I have right now, these are the classic and big discs. And I mainly kept metal discs in the big ones. Now the small ones, I didn't have a ton of the metal discs. I definitely kept every one of the metal ones. But the other ones like that I didn't use very often, like the pinks and purples, I did um, get rid of those ones. After I got the discs cleaned up, I cleaned up the washi, a few of the extra little random things that I had over there on that calyx unit. And then from there, I didn't film it, but my mom did come out and she got the calyx unit. We littered it up in her truck and you guys, it is officially gone. Look at that. All of the planner supplies are gone. The calyx unit is gone and it feels so much better. It feels nice and open. Now we just got to work on this little area, so hang tight because we might be doing that very soon. <laughs> 